Hey guys, welcome to After Hours Erin. Today I want to talk about who is in charge at your birth. Who's in charge of your pregnancy? Um, so our common culture, our common belief, or at least our common um, tendency is to allow other people to be in charge at our births. Usually a doctor or um, an OB or a midwife, somebody else is in charge and they are allowing us to do certain things or not do certain things. And you guys, I'm over it. I'm really over it. We're in charge of our own bodies. We get to say what goes and what doesn't go, what flies and what doesn't fly. And I'm just over um, us believing or acting like somebody else gets to be in charge of one of the most important days of our lives. Um, so you, you're in charge of your birth. You are in charge of your pregnancy. You are in charge of what's going on. Now I understand, I get it. Sometimes medical stuff happens and it's really out of our control. So when I say you are in charge, I don't mean that um, you are necessarily in control of every part of your experience, the, your every part of your health. Um, yes, obviously you have an impact on that, but you can't force your body to have a certain um, birth, ex like birth go a certain way, or to have or to not have a certain, um, like a diagnosis. If somebody had a diagnosis, they couldn't just like will themselves out of a diagnosis. But what I am saying is that Every single situation presents itself with options. There's always an option to do something or to not do something or to do something or to do something else. And you always have the right to have those options presented to you with evidence about each option. Why yes, why no, why yes, why no. And you have the obligation and truly the right and you are the only appropriate decision maker in that scenario. It's always you. It's always you. So um, if for example somebody um, the option was to break your water that's your choice. The doctor is not going to force you to do that and if they force you to do anything that is um, abuse. It's, it's obstetric abuse if you are forced to do anything during your birth that you do not agree with. So, um, anyway, so then you have these choices. Do I break my water? Do I not break my water? Do I wait five minutes or fight another hour or five more hours or whatever? Um, I have a choice. Do I do this? Do I not do this? And I have the right to know what are the pros and cons. If I do break my water, what is good about that? Why would that help me? What would that help accomplish in my birth? If we don't break my water, what are the risks? Or And what are the risks if we do break the water, right? If we don't break the water, what are the benefits of that? How would that help me support me and my baby? And what are the risks of not breaking the water so that I can make that choice? And I mean that for you guys, that you get to make that choice, um, no matter what it's about, no matter what it's about. Um, at the end of the day, are there emergencies? Yeah, sometimes there are emergencies. Sometimes there is not time for a care provider to explain to a parent why something needs to happen the way it's happening right now, because they're focused on solving an emergency, taking care of an emergency situation. And that is the time where the choice, you made it already. You already made the choice to be with that care provider, knowing that that is the way that they would handle that emergency. Um, and trusting that they would take care of you and your baby, whatever comes up. Um, but you already made that choice if it's an emergency because you could have chosen a different provider um, that would maybe handle the emergency in this in the same way or a different way or whatever but that trust that you already garnered that was that choice um but almost always almost always you guys it's not an emergency 
almost always there's enough time for you to understand what your options are and make the choice. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, and sometimes, yeah, I guess I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there because this is already five minutes. It's longer than my usual ones. So thank you guys for joining me in this little session of After Hours Heron. And I really look forward to seeing you for the next one. Have a good night.